Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. They might have they might have died. They might have died. The parents didn't understand it. My kid didn't do nothing. He the deliverer. We're gonna kill him anyway. Jesus was crying then, probably one and two years old, knowing what was going on. Knowing what was going on as his father and mother was treaching into Egypt. He was still God, but still man. He was still deity, but still humanity. And he was just treaching into Egypt, thinking about the children that was there crying, the mothers that were crying, knowing that this was going to be a long Christmas morning. But the Bible said one day they hung him up high. And Baptists used to say, and they stretched him wide. But they said, but on the third day, I heard somebody say he got up. With all power in his hand. And then in the scriptures it said that he went down in the shield. The place of the dead. Looked over there. Preached to the devil. Took the keys from his hand. And released the captives. And he said that he led captivity captives. And they went to be in the place of paradise. Somebody ought to say thank the Lord. Thank So I know now that them children. As well as these children. Or with the Lord. Ain't that good news? That's good news to know today. Maybe their parents need to hear that's good news for them kids. That they've been rescued. Maybe not from the fellow that killed them. But the Bible said, Fear not those that have the body to kill the body, but then after that they're powerless. He said, But fear that we get the power after death. The cast in the head. Thank you. Thank you. He might have thought he killed himself and he got out of this world, but he got into this world. Wow. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, today. Yes, 